Cam Newton finds his way back to the Panthers, Odell Beckham Jr. lands in LA, and the New York Jets are starting Mike fucking White against the Buffalo Bills. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! All right, guys, welcome in. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. Let's jump into some of the uh, the trending topics today. First up, Cam Newton signs with the Carolina Panthers. He winds up signing a one-year, $10 million deal. Cam obviously played for the Patriots last year, was surprisingly cut in favor of Mac Jones at the beginning of the season. It looks like that was probably the right move uh, by the Patriots up there in New England. But now he finds himself back home in Carolina after his short stint away. Uh, and who knows? I mean, he's not he's not playing this week, right? So hopefully in two weeks, he'll be able to hit the field. This is when uh, the Panthers face the Washington football team. So his former head coach in Ron Rivera, I think that would be the, the ideal matchup that he would like to probably get his, uh, season started with. And you look at everything going around, going on with the Panthers and Cam Newton. And what does this mean for Sam Darnold? All these different things. Um, Cam, I like that he's getting a second chance. I actually thought he was going to go to the Saints. I thought that would have been a really good spot for him, but I guess once Sam wound up getting injured, it just kind of made sense to go back uh, to Carolina. Um, In terms of the Panthers long-term, what does this mean for Sam Darnold uh, and the Jets' hopes of getting a higher second-round pick? Obviously, with Cam being there, you got to think it's got to be a little bit harder for the Jets to get a higher second-round pick as he's probably has a higher ceiling than who's their backup PJ Walker, I think. Um, so maybe a little bit worse for the New York jets, but overall not, I guess that huge of a news, Sam Darnold broken, uh, scapula, uh, actually an incomplete fracture of the scapula, which I've heard many people make the joke. He can't even complete a fracture correctly. Oh, Sammy boy. <laughs> uh, over the last, uh, so in the last five games, Sam Darnold has thrown 160 passes. Uh, In the last decade, there have been 373 quarterbacks who have had at least 160 passes uh, in their seasons. Of those 700, or sorry, 373 quarterbacks, Sam Darnold ranks 372nd in yards per attempt, 371st in touchdown percentage, and 370th in interception percentage. And I have no idea how to fact check this. This was some verified guy on Twitter, so I can't really give you any sort of insight aside from, oh man, I was so wrong (laughs) about Sam Darnold. Oh, oh man. Well, whatever. Hopefully Sam can wind up landing on a team next year. They did pick up his fifth year option in Carolina, so I'm not exactly sure how that winds up working out, but Panther fans, it's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. Uh, Next up, we got Odell Beckham Jr. And after about a week or so, we finally learn where Odell lands. He winds up landing in L.A., with Matthew Stafford and Von Miller, uh, and now Odell uh, out there. So I like this move a lot. I actually really enjoy the Rams. Matthew Stafford's one of those quarterbacks that I've just kind of watched from afar for the longest time, and it just I felt so bad for him being in Detroit and just never winning anything. And it seems like he's thriving uh, in Los Angeles now, so they got to be the betting favorite, I would think, uh, as far as the NFC goes to, to, to make it to the big game. And the the Rams are basically all in on this season. If you look at like their draft class, I want to say they don't have a first, a second, a third, or a fourth round pick that is actually like slated for them. I do think they have a compensatory pick in the third round, so a late third. Um, but they're definitely, definitely going all in on this season. Uh, there was a bunch of rumors of where Odell could have gone. The Patriots popped up a little bit. The Chiefs popped up. I thought the Ravens would have been a really good spot for him, but it came down to the Packers and the Rams, and you guys might be saying, hey, how do the Rams have so much cap space to hold Von Miller and Odell when they were right up against the cap anyway? Well, the Broncos wound up eating a ton of salary cap space in order to facilitate the Von Miller trade. They wound up getting a nice haul of picks back for him. And then Odell is mainly getting paid from the Browns. I'm not sure as of right now what the contract is. I know it's a one-year deal. I'm guessing maybe the vet minimum, maybe a million dollars, if that. I don't think it's going to be a whole heck of a lot. He will be able to choose what team he goes to this offseason. You could kind of see him maybe being that type of mercenary player at this point in his career because any contender that he's going to go to probably won't have a crazy ton of cap space that he would like to sign a contract with. I mean, that's if he can get a monster contract. Who knows? I like the move. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens. That NFC West is wild. Absolutely wild out there. 
Uh, and then that brings us to my final point of the day, and that is Mike Effin White is starting for the New York Jets this Sunday against the Buffalo Bills, and I love it. I think it's a really good move. Obviously, Wilson's still coming back from the leg injury, or knee injury. There's no reason to rush him back. I have said time and time again, I think it makes the most sense for him to start his first game with the Texans two weeks from now. There's no reason to play him against the Bills. There's no reason to play him against the, the Dolphins. Let him go at an away stadium with the Texans. They're kind of a dumpster fire. The Jet fans won't be able to boo him vocally on the road. Um, and that's even if uh, if we should start. Because honestly, if Mike White plays as well as he did through, what was it, basically two games, half of the, the Patriot game, the entirety of the Bengal game, and then a little bit of the uh, the Colts game that we saw, I don't want Wilson uh, to, to, to come back out if he's playing that well. But that being said, I do think Mike White will probably come a little bit uh, down to earth, but not this week. I tell you, I think the Bills wound up losing to the Jags, and Mike F. and White's going to lead us to a nice, nice uh, victory. And I am sure in no way will the Bills, Bills be upset uh, at losing to a team that hasn't won a game in the United States since the first week of last season. Sure, that won't happen. <laughs> All right, guys, those are my thoughts on the topic. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!